If you work in a laboratory dealing with mammalian cells and you need to know cell count and viability and you want minimal user interference as well as GMP compatibility across multiple laboratories, we've got an awesome product that you need to see. Hi, I'm Andre from the John Morris Group and today we're looking at the NC200 from Chemomedic. So what's it all about? Well, if you're doing cell counting, you're already quite familiar with the petting, staining, and manual counting, probably by eye. If all of those things are causing you a little bit of anxiety and a little bit of inaccuracy, this is a product which removes all of those problems. And here's how it works. So what we have here is a cassette that we've actually dipped in food dye and primed. And that helps you to see the microfluidic channels uh, on a video. And you can also see right here the window that the instrument looks through. And it's got an LED light source. And the image cytometer built into here will then actually analyze the contents of this for cell viability and cell count. And it's really easy to do. Once we've taken a, a, a sample, we simply slot it into the machine and we push run. Let's give it a go. So, in order to do that, what I've got here is a sample of calibration beads. So shaking them up to make sure we've got the beads in suspension, I'm gonna now introduce our cassette and push down. And what you can't see, because this liquid is clear, is that we've now actually brought or drawn the liquid up into the micro channels. So now we're gonna introduce it into the instrument and away we go. So the instrument has a 465 and a 375 nanometer wavelength LED. And either push the run button here or the run button on the screen and away it goes. The optics are LEDs, which means they're incredibly robust and stable. And that means that you have complete interoperability between different sites because the light sources don't change in their intensity or their wavelength. So in the results here, you don't just get some very useful numbers, you also get a visual image so that you can see exactly what's going on. And here you can see me zooming in and out of the actual image. And you can apply filters for what's viable, you can remove what's viable, you can remove what's non-viable. You can also have it draw squares around all of the uh, cells that's actually counted so you can see which cells it's actually counted for you. There's a couple of other really nice features as well. You can see here that we've used a viability and cell count assay, but there are a range of other assays that the NC200 has available. And you can see a list of some of them right here. And if you're not quite sure what any of those assays actually are, if you click the protocol button here, it'll actually break it down for you and show you exactly what's involved in that protocol, which is really, really handy. Another really sweet feature of this, of this instrument is you can right click on any of your test results here and, and you can go to the raw data and you can actually change your gates. Now you can see this is what it would usually look like and here, I've, if I double click on this, I've actually narrowed the gate to a defined area. Now this can be quite useful in case you have some debris hanging off either side or there's an area of focus that you're particularly interested in. And if we wanted to change that, it's easy to do, it's really no trouble at all, and of course that will affect the nature of the results. If you've got favourite protocols that you really like using, you can actually store them here in favourite one, two or three, so that they're easy to access and quicker at your fingertips. Um, another nice thing that's really worth mentioning here is that you can actually generate a GMP compliant report. So if we create a PDF report here, it'll ask us which selections we want to include. And if we want to include all of them, we'll click OK. It'll create the report for us. And here we go. I'll zoom in on that to give you a little bit of an idea exactly what that kind of looks like. You can see here, you've got all the data that you're after, including the operator, the instrument, the results, where your gates lie. And of course, you can sign and approve this report for true compliance. Another really neat feature that you might find particularly handy is if I right click here, a protocol wizard. And what that really enables us to do is 
If you're working with the same kind of cells day in, day out, you can create gates using this wizard that will stay exactly where you want them throughout all of the processes. So you never have to worry about doing this manually each time. It's set and forget, and it will remember it from henceforward. So four easy steps, and away you go. Save it, finish, and you're done. So coming back to the cassettes for just a moment, there's no sharp edges, it's a simple polycarbonate plastic with no dangerous chemicals. Unless your cell line is a biohazard, they're easy to dispose of. For complete traceability, we have lot numbers on them and we always carry these in stock so you don't have to worry about running out. So if your laboratory is looking for a GMP 21 CFR Part 11 compliant mammalian cell counter that has none of the issues associated with manual cell counting or pipetting or dyes or staining, we'd really like to encourage you to have a look at the NC200 from Chemomedic. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask them below. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching. Bye for now.